Let us further explore factoring difference of squares with algebraic tiles. We need to factor this time x square minus 4. Now the strategy is let's first draw the tile x square. So this blue tile is the x square tile. Now when we have to form a square we will see that normally the unit tiles will be diagonally placed to the square tiles. Now in this particular case we have minus 4. So we have 4 unit tiles to be placed diagonal to the x square tile. right? So that is the position for placing 4 unit tiles. Let's place them in the form of a square itself. So that is the square for 4 unit tiles negative 4. So we have these 4 tiles here which represents negative 4 for us. Now that forms the grid which can be completed to make a rectangle. Now to make this rectangle what we can do is we can add and subtract same number of x tiles. right? So let us first add the x tiles. So how many x tiles should I add? There are two x tiles which should be added, correct? So these are the two x tiles which I am adding. Now, since I added two x tiles, we should take away two also, right? So I am taking away two from the other side. So these are the two minus two x tiles, right? Now what do we get? We get a complete rectangle, which in this case is actually a square, right? So the dimensions of this rectangle are so we have x squared and this is plus x. This is also plus x. These are minus x. These are minus 1's. Now length and width are the dimensions of this rectangle which are x minus 2 and here we have x that is x units and x plus 1 plus 1 x plus 2. So x plus 2 times x minus 2 represents x square minus 1, right? So we get it in factored form, x plus 2 times x minus 2. That is equals to x square minus 1. So that is the technique by which we can use algebra tiles and factor difference of squares. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.